after Piolani getting ready to go for and telling our families that we're here. We're in the triage now and I just found out I'm still a centimeter so but we did we came to the hospital because I was getting contractions about five minutes apart um, for a minute and it lasts over an hour so I followed the 511 rule um, but yeah we're gonna see what my doctor says regardless I'm supposed to get induced today so um, I'm hoping they'll just let me stay and uh, maybe we can do it earlier we'll see What's that noise you hear? This is the baby's heartbeat. And there's also something on my stomach to measure the contractions. You can see it. Yeah. in the labor and delivery room. We just got moved here. Yes, we and did. The baby's still not ready to come out. No, we might be here for a while. So it's a nice size room though actually for to deliver in. And we have a very nice nurse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're excited. Um, I'm in pain right now. You look enthusiastic. I'm having a contraction. You can see on the monitor you film the monitor. Real time contraction. You can, can you see tell? it right there. It's going up. But so far so good. Just hanging in there and I can't eat this morning because I guess one of the contractions made the babies Heart rate, heart rate go down. So they want to monitor that. So I haven't really eaten anything since we came here. That was about five o'clock. But I think I've been up since like two because I've been having contractions, so. Do you want to share what possibly happened now with the nurse photos? So I might have to do, I don't know what, do you remember, do you remember what it was called? The balloon thing? No. Okay, well, to get induced, they either like put something like a tampon looking thing, you know, up there and they leave it there for 12 hours and I guess that's supposed to soften the cervix or they put like a balloon up there and I guess after it, it expands and then when it falls out, it, you're supposed to be like three or four centimeters dilated, so we're gonna see um, which one is gonna be right for me, I guess. Um, we're gonna wait for the doctor to decide and we'll see. But yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of a long process. I'll be here for a little while. Yeah, they said the tampon procedure could take up to 12 hours mm -hmm. and the balloon is shorter, could take like four. Four hours, yeah. So. And then after that, then they would do Pitocin and that's gonna help the con get the contractions up. But they also want to see how baby does with the contractions because it's um, it's I guess concerning that she her heart rate dropped and the contractions are not even that bad or I'm only one centimeter dilated so we have to we have to wait and see. Fun times. Fun times. And that's where I hang out. <laughs> in a bit so we made some progress we actually don't have to do the balloon procedure where they open up your cervix they like put like a balloon in there and then it opens it up because I'm already three centimeters dilated so that's a positive um, so now I'm gonna eat lunch and then after I eat then I'm gonna be on Pitocin and that is supposed to uh, 
help me get to 10 or first six centimeters and then to 10. So um, this is probably the last meal that I'm gonna have before we have baby. I'm, I'm thinking, right? Yeah. Depends on how long this takes. Yeah, I, I guess, guess it to depends, get to 10. but so. And it's beef and stew. And I have beef stew. I have a fruit cup. I have some chocolate cake. Oh, that's a brownie. Oh, well, I have some brownie. Oh, I ordered a brownie. I don't remember what I ordered. And what's, what is it? Hot you ordered tea? tea. I ordered a tea. So. And oh, apple juice. And apple juice, so. And it's funny because you're on fentanyl right now, which I'm on relaxes fentanyl. your body, and you actually just went through a contraction, a really big one. Oh. And you didn't even know. So I. I requested fentanyl because I thought I was gonna have to do the balloon procedure and she just offered, or I mean, you know, she, she asked if I wanted to be a little bit medicated, so I was gonna, but then we didn't have to do the balloon procedure. So um, I just had a little bit of a rest, I guess. But overall, so far so good. And just excited, uh, we're gonna meet baby soon. It's 4.20 and we've been here probably almost 12 hours now because we came at 5 a.m. And so far I am four centimeters dilated and I recently got the epidural. Uh, my contractions were just really painful. So I thought that I feel really good now, really relaxed. Can't feel anything. I have a catheter in me and um, yeah, just gonna be I'm gonna probably rest now. Can't eat anything because of the epidural except ice chips. And so I guess this is a good time for me to rest and then hopefully um, in a little while I will be more dilated. But I am, my cervix is thinner which is good. So yeah, it's been so far a very interesting and I wouldn't say fun, but I'm excited because you know all of this is just leading up to us meeting our baby soon. What do you think? I think you should talk to the cat and take face to you. I think it's um, Carrie's a trooper. I think she is putting up with a lot of pain and doesn't really complain about it. I know now that she's got the epidural, it's gonna help her sleep because she didn't sleep very much last night and hasn't slept at all since we got here. So you know very proud of her. I know this is tough. It's not easy to go through this. I can just see and from what the nurses and doctors have been saying, you know, it's, we could have a long ways to go. So we'll see how that goes. And maybe if we're lucky, she comes later on today or tonight, mm -hmm. uh, or definitely tomorrow, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the other thing is that was your last meal. Lunch was your oh, last meal. And I'm yeah. hungry. Hospital beef stew. Probably not the best last meal. No, but I hope that's why I hope it this happens sooner rather yeah. than later because I'm hungry. I'm gonna feel guilty when I eat dinner tonight. That's true. And <laughs> maybe I should just eat by myself in the calf wow. because I don't want to bring it back up here and you're like, <laughs> damn you. It's alright. I understand. Okay. He's been good too. Just being very supportive, feeding me my ice chips. Helping me to on, the a, on a note to fathers, if you come to Kapiolani, their Wi-Fi does not support streaming. I don't know, you would think they'd fix that. So I almost used all of our hotspot data. Oh no. So no more, no more streaming for me. So what are you going to be doing the rest of the time? Looks like we have to talk. Or you can watch movies. Yeah, they do have movies on demand on their 15 inch TV. <laughs> it's awesome. Check in later. Smile for the camera. <laughs> there you go. Harry, you did it.
Oh, that was so fast. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, you have to just like. Oh. Oh. Hey, what was it? It was better than I thought it would be. <laughs> For sure. It's pretty crazy. She was the little person kicking you all this time. Hi. Hi. I know. I don't think so. Maybe it's It's July 25th and Ellie came on July 24th at 9.08 p.m. and um, I was able to have a vaginal birth which was really nice and uh, she is 6 pounds 9 ounces which is funny because uh, we thought she was going to be a much bigger baby when she came out but um, she's the perfect size and oh she's spitting up right now. Okay we have to clean that up. How's it going? Good. Spending quality time. I don't have the boob, so the best I can do is just rock. But she's pretty chill. She doesn't really cry. She's kind of awake and alert most of the time. Just kind of looking around. I don't know if she recognizes our voices or not, but yeah. So trying to figure out who she looks like. If you know who she looks like, leave a comment. I think she looks like our nephew, which would be very concerning. <laughs> but we just had a visit from our pediatrician, uh, Ali, our cousin, and she's in perfect health, so we're very fortunate. It's flat like that, and then you want to put baby right. So her head is sticking out. Okay. Okay, and then hold one arm down and take this across. Diagonally. Yeah, diagonally and tuck it under her back. Okay. Try to make it like as flat as possible so it's not all bunched up okay. under there. And then hold the other arm down. Diagonal across again. Okay. Tuck it under her back. Okay, now this is the confusing part. I don't know what to do with so this. So then you want this to be like wide okay. and flat and then you put it up if there's extra you can fold it over oh okay up like that and then same thing like a triangle yeah nice and flat again so it's not like a bump under her back one side and then the other side and then she's nice and tiny so you'll have extra yeah and you can kind of just tuck it in over here oh, okay yeah oh yeah even that on one all right, so it's our last night at the hospital. This is July 20, what day is today? 25th. And um, it's been a pretty relaxing day. How do you feel, Reed? I'm tired. Hospitals like this are not made for men. <laughs> his bed isn't very comfortable. That's just, that's his bed there. And he has a hard time sleeping on it. So I understand. But we both have a celebratory meal tonight. And so I got the beef and potatoes and some bread and um, some cake. Or what is this? What kind of cake? Pie? Is this some, I don't know, some kind of cheesecake maybe? And some salad here. And Reed, what did you get? I got the fish. He got the fish. So we're gonna just enjoy our dinner probably separately because he's holding Ellie. So far though, everything's been going good. Breastfeeding has been, she's been latching, which is really good. It's been pretty painful for me. So it's something I know I just have to work through. But other than that, um, overall we just feel very grateful that everything turned out well and that baby is healthy and that I am healthy still. And 
that we're all good. But yeah, we're gonna go home tomorrow. <coughs> and do you wanna say anything else? No, but the staff here has been awesome. We've had great nurses. Uh, Dr. Wong, our OB, just came in. Our pediatrician came in earlier today. Yeah, it's been great. Like, Piolani is awesome. If you're gonna go and go through this process, I would definitely come back. Yes, staff has been wonderful here. We enjoyed our stay for sure. Maybe the rooms could be a little bit bigger. That's true. The the labor and delivery room was quite large, and you come in, you get you come into like a cramped it's like a closet. Um, closet of recovery room. But it, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I'm feeling alright. Um, just need to recover. But overall, so far so good. Okay, so it's our last day here at Kapiolani, and we are or. And we're gonna go home today, so we're really excited uh, to bring her home and just show her where she's gonna be living for the, you know, for however long we live in that home. Um, but overall, uh, last night, how was last night? Day two is no joke. Yeah, they say day one, like the first 24 hours, the baby um, sleeps most of the time because they're just really tired from birth. But the second day, they cluster feed and. Um, that's basically all she wanted to do was like to feed and for me the the breast uh, What is it called? Breastfeeding the breastfeeding so far has been a struggle a little bit and and even that day two You're not really I don't really have any breast milk yet anyway. It's just too early um, so She was just really hungry last night and it just It was mainly a lot of crying It's like helpless. You don't really know how to help her. Yeah um, the nurses were great though. They gave us a lot of options with uh, formula, with a pacifier. They helped take her out, uh, calm her down. But ultimately, yeah. It's just a learning process. We are learning. And I learned too that everybody has a different opinion on like how you should, you know, manage with breastfeeding and formula. And I mean, there's all different opinions, opinions on everything. But I think for us, you know, the main thing that we want to focus on is just making sure that she's healthy and that she's fed and that uh you know that that she's basically those are the main two things so um we're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that she is she's just that basically. so we're just waiting for the pediatrician to come mm -hmm. in our cousin Allie to discharge the baby mm -hmm. and then we'll be on our way yeah so we're we are just so Allie hurry up <laughs> we're grateful you know for all your love and support so far and just everyone that has given us well wishes or um, you know through this process because it's been a long journey for both you and I and um, we are just excited now because we know this is a different phase of our life with different challenges and different um, different experiences that we're gonna have so we're very grateful and we look forward to just sharing it all with with all of you and yeah anything else nope this baby Ellie